Hey watch people, this is Hector from Winning Crowns and today we're going to take a closer look at this watch here. This here is the Victor Inox Swiss Army Enox, Inox and it says right on the dial there Professional Diver Anti-Magnetic 200 meters 660 feet. Also says Swiss made there at 6 o'clock. This is supposed to be a very very tough tough watch guys i mean really tough um supposed to have gone through a lot of rigorous testing uh, obviously it has to be quartz because a automatic can be very robust and tough but it's not going to be able to get run over by a an army tank and drop from you know 100 feet and all kind of craziness it was thrown in a washer hot water for an hour and i mean just ridiculous tests that you know if you fall from a hundred feet wearing this watch and you made it alive and you're you're cool and your back's not broke you got more problems than this watch and you're not going to be worried about my watch did it make it you know what i mean you're knocked out with your back broke and you're not going to be worrying about this watch but the tests are just to show you the durability of this watch it was built you know purpose built to be able to take abuse so will we abuse it in that way most likely no but you know that's what it is here anyway guys it's a like i said victory Knox swiss army inox and this is they do make a 43 millimeter watch with a uh, regular standard bezel that kind of looks like this but it's not a rotating bezel with no pip this is the diver, so it's 45 millimeters. It is actually 45 mil on the case diameter. It is 14 millimeters thick. The lug right here for the strap changes, if you want to change it out, in between the lugs is 22. Like I mentioned before, 660 feet, 200 meters. It is a sapphire crystal, which is awesome for this price point watch. Anything above a grand, you know, for sure you would think would have sapphire, but this is way below that. And, you know, Citizens and Seikos run much higher without sapphire. So this is really cool that you got a quartz piece from Swiss Army Victory Knox that has sapphire crystal. It's, it is a quartz watch. It is the Ronda 715 quartz Swiss made movement. So it's going to be very durable. You do have a date. In between the four and five o'clock round indices it does have super luminova which is great but although it has super luminova that is the one and only thing about this watch i wore it to sleep i've hit it with a flashlight wore it to sleep it's bright and it dims pretty quickly but once your eyes get regulated to the darkness uh you can still see it you know i've been up four in the morning and i could still make out the time but that's probably because my eyes adjusted and it's so dark that it's the few little you know little light that's there is enough for me to see it but is it seiko loom is it zelos loom no it's not tag hoyer loom it's not brightling loom it's not omega loom it's worse than those uh the new hamilton navy scuba has fantastic loom so i was going to say hamilton loom is worse but not that watch but uh casio duro would be worse but it's not that good that's my opinion uh it is a unidirectional bezel which actually it's a dive bezel so it should only go one way right and uh, i think it lined up pretty decent I think I passed it. But let's try it again. Yeah, it lines up. It lines up really nicely. So I do like, you know, that, the attention to detail. And it's got a screw down crown at 3 o'clock, which is humongous. It has end of life indicator, meaning that it starts to jump two seconds to let you know hey my battery's running low like i said it's got the inox features 
which is a super durability and it's a swiss made watch guys by a very recognized brand it's been around forever they make swiss army knives swiss watches backpacks a lot of uh gear and stuff so it's really really cool and here is the case back it is fairly plain but you know so is a rolex you know so a lot of people say oh, i wish that they would you know give me a nicer case back blah blah, blah. but then they adore rolex and rolex has to be the plainest back ever brightling omega tag everybody for much cheaper make a beautiful case back rolex is just a plain jane nothing on it and you'll hear when when somebody purchases and that's what's so silly about the watch community right i mean you know i hate to put them out there but it's true you'll you'll buy a two or three hundred four hundred dollar watch you know five hundred dollar micro brand or whatever and this is what you'll hear in the reviews you know it's a very very nice watch but for the price point you know if i'm going to spend you know north of four or five hundred dollars you know i'd expect a nicer case back you know blah 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 right and yeah it would be nice but then they get a rolex oh look at my submariner oh it's the perfect watch it's just so perfect i mean rolex just do it everything perfect i mean that's why everybody copies them because they're well, they got the plainest case back ever. And a micro band puts a case, a plain case back, and they're bitching about it. But, it, you know, to keep the cost down, they had to do something. But yet Rolex, outrageous. And what's their excuse? So, yeah. So, this watch, the case back is fine. And you can see it's got a circular brushing. It says, Sapphire crystal, Swiss made, water resistant 200 meter, Victory Knox, the shield, and Swiss Army, stainless steel. You got your model number and your serial number. Very, very big screw down crown. I'll let me unscrew it. Of course, nice pop. You pull, you change the date, you pull again, you change the time and hack the movement. Push it back in all the way. No need to wind. It is quartz. Not an automatic. And you're good to go. Easy to access. Now, here's another thing I've heard some people say. I believe uh, Maverick Watch Review said, I wish that this was a little bit more open to make it easy to grab. You see how it's the crown guards actually go past it instead of being chopped off right there. It goes past it. Okay. Well, look at the back side. It's completely open. So it doesn't have to be open on the front. It's open on the back. It doesn't matter which finger it's doing the most grabbing. Look, watch. There, it's on. It's open. Now look, push it. It's closed. Why was I able to grip it? If these crown guards are going a little bit into the because I'm grabbing it from there. But why did they choose to open it from the back but not from the front? Well, because their whole thing is about durability and being able to take damage and get the job done. Well, they don't want your crown popping off, breaking. Remember what, what I was saying? They're all about the durability and being able to be robust enough to go through whatever. Well, the crown is a weak point. If it's not covered well, that's where you can have the malfunction. So don't, not only do they put big old crown guards, but it's damn near covering the whole front end of it. You can still get some grab there, but they left you the back open. And why did they do that? Because that's what's up against the, the skin. So that's it's not going to get open from that. And if something hits it from the back, it, that means it went right through your wrist before it got to the crown. So this is a very well thought out watch, guys. Huge loom pip. Now that is bright, and so are the hands. The indices, not as much. I do like that they did this straight on the case. See, that? that's not a, a separate piece of metal. It's made into the case like that. So any strap you use, including this one, goes right into the case. 
And look, no spacing between. I love that. That is really, really nice. It's all brushing, fine brushing on the sides, top of logs. There it is, your crown. Your, your bezel is brushed. The only thing is those little beveled edges where the 20, 30, 10, 40, all that. That is high polish to give a little bit of pop. Everything else is brushed. No more polished anywhere except for those little points there. I mean, it's a good looking watch, guys. Here's your rubber strap, which is amazingly done very, very well. It is quick release. You have a lot of, see that? The bumps to keep away from your skin to give you some air underneath there. I do like that they says we're 22 in between the lugs and this piece is 120. And this one's 22 and it's 80. So it even tells you that this side, the short side is 80. This side is 120. So why do they do that? No guesswork for you. If you don't want to use this strap, you're not going to scratch up your lugs with a tool because it's toolless. It's quick release, right? It tells you this is a 120. This is an 80. So if you wear this watch, you see how well it fits you, where the buckle lands on your back of your wrist and all that. If you like the size of this strap, you know to order your other straps 120, 80. If you need a little bit more length, then you know to go a little bigger. Or a little... So this is a standard 120, 80, and it leaves no guesswork. It tells you exactly what it is. So, I mean, I love everything about it. You know, nice little brush buckle with their logo. Let me put her... I'm going to back up, put it on the wrist, and then I'm going to do the loom for you. I have a 7.5 inch wrist, guys. By the way, this has two keepers. I took one off because I don't need to. Because my wrist is big enough that it comes out further. And there you go. It's not bad, right? It's very, very nice. Look at that. Love the second hand there with the pip. In red oh one more thing I forgot to mention guys I haven't seen any reviewer mention this and I don't know why they missed it let me zoom in real quick look at the date window right now a date window typically you're going to be able to see the date from right on you're gonna see be able to see it from right above but when it's on your wrist and it's at a slant and all that good stuff, you know, you don't get that much visibility sometimes. Okay, look what they did. They framed it, but look at this end of it, where it's going to be kind of like slanted on your wrist. You see what they did? They kind of ramped it. You see how it's ramped on the three side? The part by the chapter ring has a more of a ramp look to it. Okay, there can only be one reason they did that. And that's so when you're wearing the, the watch, you can still see it because it's cutting off some of that dial by slanting it like that so that you can have more visibility. Because look how much I'm slanting this. And you can still see the window. That was a nice touch. Any of you guys that have this watch, can look at you, see you can see it right there nice touch and here's another thing the dial is so thick that you see how you how deep it is and you see how you see all dial there's no space you don't see any air space between the dial and the date wheel it's completely enclosed yeah that attention to deal details what i like let's go ahead and hit this right quick and like i said it's not the best loom It'll do, but that's the only place they missed the mark. That should be enough. There it is, guys. I know what you're saying. That looks good, Hector. It is. It is. I'm not saying it isn't. It's Super Luminova. Look, look at the their emblem there at 12. That huge monster pip with BGW9. But look at that. I like that. Big pip on the seconds hand. 
the emblem at 12, and then you got your stick at three, six, and nine, circles everywhere else. I like that they used the, you know, obviously the, sh the hour hand is shorter, right? But I like that they used a different color. They used the BGW9 blue for the minute hand and that pip. So you're always going to be able to tell if you're a diver or in the dark, which hand is what. So like I'm saying, I, 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 I can wear it all night and still see the time. I'm just saying it's, it's their weakest point of this watch, but it's still a very, very nice watch. Very nice. Let me get the lights back on, guys. By the way, guys, I want to thank Richard at Saltzman's from there at Saltzman's in Newport. I will put his name. You don't have to remember it because I will post his name and their website in the description and also pin it on the first comment and put it somewhere on the screen so you can screenshot it or look at it later. Anyway, guys, if you enjoy this type of content, then please subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends about the channel. Hit the bell icon so you're notified of the next video. And uh, leave comments down below. Hit that like button. It really does help. And remember, never stop winding crowns. Thank you.